So what do you make of the America First movement? I respect it a lot. I respect Nick Fuentes' movement because I would say that any movement that is putting its country first, I'm for it. Because if they're going to put their country first, first of all, they ain't going to be bombing brown people in the Middle East, right? And destroying them and destroying their lives and destroying their livelihood. That's the first thing. That's so I'm for it from a foreign policy perspective significantly. And that's how it makes it relevant to us, right? So, so is America first isolationist then? Um, that's something you need to specifically ask uh, Nick Fuentes in terms of how it is. But from my perspective, what you, if, if I was running the America First movement, uh, I would have it where you wouldn't be isolationist in terms of from a trade perspective, from a uh, military perspective, but you wouldn't be, for example, partaking in wars, partaking in foreign, uh, you know, disrupting foreign nations. Because um, you can't be completely isolationist as well. That wouldn't, uh, that kind of society wouldn't be successful. Mm. But at the same time, what you've got right now, which is the complete opposite, which is meddling in the affairs, overthrowing governments, causing anarchy in nations, who then are problematic for future people as well, is is, is something that is completely problematic. I see. Yeah, I'm going to be paying more attention right, to Fuentes. I think the America First movement is uh, important, regardless of what it really means, because I know it means different things to different people. It's it's quite broad. Um, but I, I like seeing the challenge that the America First crowd is, is giving to the uh, conservatives, like from the Daily Wire, that maybe they're not Israel first, but they definitely have Israel next, right next to America. I mean, and, I think they're they Israel treat them first. as one in the same. I mean, what we're seeing over the last few days and last weeks, I would say that these people have demonstrated that they're Israel first, because when you're willing to destroy the constitution, destroy free speech for a foreign nation, it means you ain't putting your nation's interest first because your nation, if you look at America in itself, there's a reason the First Amendment was the First Amendment, right? The right to free speech. It's ironic. I was speaking to somebody just a week ago, right? And I was like, look, uh, I don't mind moving to the United States because you guys have free speech. And then we saw the House pass the bill yesterday. So I think you guys are definitely moving, America is, moving towards a totalitarian fascist society, which is put, and the reason for that is, the root cause of that is because they put on Israel first. Interesting. Yeah, I, I'm somewhat in agreement. I think uh, still waiting to see how it plays out. I like the, the challenge that they're putting forth, though. And so we'll just have to see how big this movement can grow. So you said this was Fuentes' movement. He's the one who started America First. Yeah, from what I understand. Yeah, the America First is Fuentes' uh, uh, thing. And then he's got the whole, uh, he's got a m massive passionate following, right? and shout out to them. They always like, give me a huge amount of support on Twitter. But yeah, I mean, it is his movement. And what you're seeing is when I look at Twitter right now, or social media, it's only his movement that's actually putting America first. Everyone else is now extremely pro-censorship, is extremely pro putting Israel first ahead of American interests, is, is, and that's nothing more demonstrative than what's happening in the college campuses. It's literally exposing everybody. That's why I said like October the 7th has exposed everyone. It doesn't matter what ideology people claim they were. It doesn't matter what th thought process people claim they were. As soon as that happened, the masks were off and we saw the true faces of like what everyone's real positions are.